Hi everybody, it's Marie here. Um, I was back to do a, a journal share with you. It seems that every time I say I won't be doing anything for a while I end up doing something else. So um, This is um, something I've just put together this week. I wasn't sure whether I'd get it finished but I did so uh, before I go away so I did. So I just thought I'd share it with you. Um, I've made this from a, a book that I found in a a local uh, charity shop and it cost me a couple of pounds um, and it's I hope you can see but on the spine it's Jane Eyre by Emily Bronte I really like the cover and it was it was proper brown it was in really good condition and I thought well, I want it to look more old although it's about 50 50 odd years old I think I think it's from the I think it was published in the 60s I wanted it to look older so I um, well I gutted it because I put my own signatures in and um, I whitewashed it with some white acrylic paint and then I just rubbed it down and roughed it up and roughed up all the edges and then stained them with some vintage photo because I wanted it to look like an, old, an older book than it already was uh, and I think I might have I think I might have achieved that now um, this, because it was by a famous author, Emily Bronte, I wanted to make it themed, uh, you know, writers and authors. So it's, it's, um, it's not a pretty journal. It's not full of roses and pretty ladies and pretty children, but it does feature authors and book pages. Some of the book pages from the actual, um, this Jane Eyre and also some pages from other books which I'll talk about as I go through. So uh, let's go inside. I just tied it with some uh, tea dyed seam binding. I didn't want to put a proper, I didn't want to put any holes or anything in, you know, eyelets because I, I wanted it to, you know, still look like a book. So uh, that's just like a, you know, an optional. If you want to tie it, you can just tie that round. Okay, so on, on the front here it's got some, it's embossed, this is like the publisher's emblem and it's actually like a, like an old ship, you know, a bit like a galleon or something like that. So I really like the cover. So we'll go inside and this, this backing paper is the original, uh, this cover paper is the original from the book. And I've put a, a hidden spine with some craft text, which is just very similar colour but that's uh, the hidden spine there. And this was the um, the title page from In the Book, uh, Jane Eyre by Emily Bronte. And there you can maybe see more clearly that's what's embossed on the front. It does look like a galleon. Okay, and I've, I've done three signatures. I'm not sure how many pages, probably about 90. Um, and for each one I've um, done a little cover with some, um, just some scrap of paper. Just gives it a little bit more substance. And um, some of the images I've used are from uh, Mrs. Cog's Crafts. It's Elizabeth Smith, who some of you might know from from YouTube and also from Facebook, Junk Journal Junkies. Elizabeth makes um, amazing journals and she's also started recently making, um, um, you know, digital downloads. Um, I've bought a couple of things from her and I asked her, could she produce me anything with some authors and writers on so she did me she did one specially for me and it is for sale on her Etsy but um, so I was really pleased to get that and I, I bought it straight away and that, that I had that in mind when I got the, when I had this book cover uh, to use them in here so I've just made a made an envelope out of some of the pages from Jane Eyre book and then inside it's just like a little card there and here's a this was in the book as well it's a a drawing image of Charlotte Bronte so that's in there and then as I say what Elizabeth Smith made me it's called Great Authors so I just I just uh, stuck that on there because I thought that you know went well and it, it kind of reiterates the theme of the book really so I got some of the uh, papers including this one from um, Pixabay 
where you can use um, some of the images on there and their um, their public domain and you don't need to give any credit or anything so they're really useful to have so I, just, I, I printed out some that I thought looked like they might have come from books you know with illustrations and sort of script writing in so that's what you'll see them featuring throughout the book as well just some script stamp in there some tea dyed paper Uh, there's a little, uh, you might see a little glitch there in the video. I just had to, just had to leave the room for a minute, but um, I'm back now. Um, some tea dyed paper to flip out. And some more paper from Pixabay, which features some nice uh, ladies in the big, like, crinoline dresses. And some script on there. Um, and I, I made some um, little pockets and tuck spots out of some book paper. This is Shakespeare of Hamlet. And there's a picture of Oscar Wilde, which comes from Elizabeth Smith, Mrs. Cog's Crafts. Just a little um, journaling tag. Um, I made some tags with some nice parchment paper. Some more book paper from this Jane Eyre book. She dyed paper. Some vellum. And just some um, ripped and stitched, just um, out of a out of another book that I had. It's just advertising other books in the series. And here's a, a picture of George Eliot, who a lot of you may know was actually a lady, so that's an image of George Eliot. Um, book page from, I think that is the autobiography of um, Dylan Thomas. So I've got a copy of that, so that's a page from that. And in the centre of each signature I've made a, a large pocket. It's also got some lines on it, so you can do, use that for journaling as well. That's from the Dylan Thomas page. Some of the book pages I've put some acrylic paint on, so you can write on them. Some tea dyed paper, the vellum, tea dyed. Uh, just some images of some old books. Another book page from Jane Eyre and the tags. Some tea dyed paper, and this is the back of the. Um, the image with the nice ladies on and another um, list of books that are available in this series Got the same on there and then this is the back of the the one you the one you saw there at the beginning that's the back of it it's quite a cute little image looks like it could be from a book I thought anyway and in the back of each signature I've made like a, a pocket and in this one we've got a library card and then I've made some of these with the with the scraps from the from the um, uh, scrapbook papers. Just what's left over when you cut off a twelve by twelve sheet. I just started making these because I've seen somebody doing them. I think it might have been Fiona Fiona J uh, on YouTube. Um, I think I saw in one of her journals she did something similar. So it's just a little flip up with a pocket there, and in here it's a little little scrap. Um, book of scrap paper, a library card which I've printed some old books on and you can write on the back. And the second signature, similar again, the tea dyed paper, some old book images, book pages and here's some uh, more famous authors. We've got Lewis Carroll and Mark Twain and that's just some extra journal in space. Again, these are from Elizabeth and Mrs. Cox Crafts. There's some more paper from Pixabay. That's like a castle or something. It's like some old, um, almost looks like something that from like medieval times, but like the monks might have written or something. Some um, ledger paper, some tea dyed paper. A page from the book that's been painted so you can write on it. He died. A nice sheet of pink parchment paper, some ledger paper, some vellum, another big envelope in the middle there. Um, and inside this one I've just put one of my little origami envelopes which I tend to put in all my work now with a little image inside of a, little, of a lady. That's just my little thing at the moment with the journals. And some vellum. Some uh, 
ledger paper, more nice pink parchment paper, tea dyed, page from this book, another uh, flip up you can write on the back, made with, um, I think that's from Shakespeare as well, and there's a picture of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, who famously wrote the Sherlock Holmes stories, there's some ledger paper, Jane Eyre, and on the back of this, and again, a pocket, a nice picture of Virginia Woolf there, and another one of these, that one hasn't got anything in it, but the, you can, there's a pocket there, you can put things in there, and then the final signature, same again, this is from Pixabay, uh, free to use, no attribute, no attribute, Attribution required. Book page, tea dyed paper, nice script, ledger paper, more from Dylan Thomas autobiography, some um, creamy coloured parchment, uh, something from a French book. I have no idea what the book is because that was just a page that was sent to me when I did a swap. Um, that was just sent as a little extra in a swap. Another large pocket in the centre, and you can write on there. Uh, parchment paper. Dylan Thomas, a ledger paper. And here's another little flip up with some writing space. And this is again made from some uh, a book with Shakespeare's plays. Just a little tag, and here's some more authors. Got Hans Christian Andersen. Charles Dickens and Robert Louis Stevenson held the, can write on the back and all held together with a brad. I think this is a Tim Holtz brad and it's got um, like book book print on there. That goes well. Uh, Rudyard Kipling. Nice images there. And then the end of the final signature. Again, I've made one of those with these little little holders with some library cards in. That one's just got some stamping on. And that one's got some vintage book images. So I just printed that on there. And that's the end on this. If this was uh, in the book when sorry, I just knocked my camera. When I looked at the book into the book, which you often find that this was in the, being used as a bookmark. And it's from a um, something that you never see now, but in the UK, people from the UK will probably remember. But this was we used to have something called a post lord. I remember before people had bank accounts, you know, as a common thing. People if we wanted to send money or give money, used to buy post orders from the post office. And this is a counterfoil for um, for a post order somebody was using as a bookmark, and it's. Um, was dated 29th of April 1969 and they were pe paying Vernon's Pools which was kind of like a I don't I don't know whether the pool still exists but it was like um, betting on on the football results it used to be very um, popular before lotteries and things like that were came into being so I just thought I just stuck that on there because it kind of goes a little bit of history of the book so see that was 1969 and I know that the book was published before then so it's getting on, it's 50 years old, the book was. But I just thought I'd make it look even older and I think, I think it does. And as I say this is just a, um, a tie which is, you know, entirely optional just to keep it together. So I hope you like that uh, share and um, Something else, I treated myself to something. I'm just going to show you what it is now. Came in the came today. Some of you may already have these. The crocodile. Big bite. Which I've been having a play with. The nice hole punches. And the, the main thing I wanted it for was for the eyelet setting. Um because the eyelet punch I've been using is not very good. So I'm hoping this is going to fare a bit better. The only thing I've uh, found is, so if you ever buy one, just beware. I've just been practicing with it, but um, the uh, 
the things that go up and down to make to punch the holes they're oiled so there's oil on them i'm guessing that'll come off after a little while but you know if you do buy one don't go straight into a project with it make sure you get that oil off first so yeah that's what i've treated myself to a crocodile so hours of fun to be had there okay so that's it now so i'm definitely going to be away for a couple of weeks and i've got some things planned for when i get back actually the week after i come back my son's getting married uh on the 12th of august so after that i'll be back at it um full time almost and i uh, hope to have lots of things to share with you then so all enjoy the rest of your summer and i'll see you maybe uh, end of august early september okay then bye for now bye